Guys, we are starting now with the Patreon recommendations for September. And Elena Oruzhev, Elisa Chipki, Federica Zebelloni, uh, and Lisa Clark, and all you, Tina Mary, and all you, my friends on Patreon, all you that suggested to me a reaction or recommend me something, do not worry. In September, I will react to everything you suggested to me as I promised and as I announced it in my community area. But now we start Riverside. <laughs> this is the first suggestion I received for September by my friend Guil Malinois that is, that is driving me inside this Riverside journey. Second Life Syndrome, Reality Dream DVD, go. Oh my lord, guys, the skills attitude of this bass player that every time he's demonstrating to us all his ability to perform with this bass to create music and also this excellent drum groove and this guitar every time impressive um, surrounded by these keyboards is every time really hunting when you listen to Riverside. Forward. Oh my lord! Guys, it's every time a trip when you listen to Riverside. A trip every time, a big experience. Oh man. And of course the inspiration from Steven Wilson is really clear here because, oh man, uh, Steven Wilson is a god of a lot of progressive heads. Yeah. 
Oh my god! This is sweet, this is delightful, and, and you know, you perfectly know, this is not my kind of music, the music I used to listen, never, because of course I am more for short uh, songs and excitement, uh, but I started appreciating this journey with progressive rock, uh, because as a musician myself I can appreciate, uh, guys, the big journey you are involved inside the song. Ragazzi, poi alla fine vi dico in italiano, eh, quello che ho detto anche in inglese. time delicious guitars and even if so far this one is not my favorite experience with Riverside I really appreciate this long journey in this song and with Malinois my friend happy birthday if I'm not wrong we are really close to your birthday secret exhibition came from Excellent sound of these skins, we call it skins in Italian. Skins. Excellent sound.
the floor. crescendo here the best part of the song here with this progression at the minute 10 this crescendo it really sounds like a river the water of a river descending wow of this man is really touchable here. Please back a bit. Back a bit, not so, not so much. A bit, a bit. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, wait!
Oh, guys, watch the guitar of this guitarist. Pisces astrological signs in the neck of the guitar. And so sad he passed away because of an accident. Wait, guys, this is over, but I think I was missing a little part here. Ragazzi, un attimo soltanto, eh? mi sembra che mi sono perso un pezzettino del, della parte, questa parte urlata qua. E mi riguardo questo pezzettino e poi vi dico tutto in italiano. Guys, I think I, I was missing here this session here. I'm back for one minute and then my commentary. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, this session here, wait. Oh no no guys no way I, I I got it I was there I didn't miss nothing Oh so uh Guil Marinoa my friend oh this this guitar player for me deserves wait excellent groove but oh my lord Excellent drum groove, but for me the guitarist deserve more here. However, as I'm looking for the best frame here of these men, I have to tell you something. Uh, you have got to be a really uh, progressive head addicted to enjoy first time this song if you never listen it to progressive rock music. You know what I mean? This is really a journey and this is really specific for progressive rock big lover. I enjoyed the atmosphere of this song at the minute 8.45. Uh, the progression at the minute 10, the best part of the song. But all the song is a real, a very good, very, very good song. All song long because of these ideas with the composition in the bass lines, because of the drum grooves that are perfect, because of the respectful keyboards that are surrounding you all song long, all song long, and because of, especially because of this excellent guitarist here that you told me he passed away tragically. But I can get it and I can get the magic of the song and the good vibes of the song because I'm a little bit uh, prepared uh, about progressive rock music. If not, this should, uh, this may, this, this could sound a little boring for someone if you are new in, uh, to an experience like this one. Because very long song, you saw also the crowd very focused, very uh, yeah, on trance. <laughs> very, very, very um, carefully focused on the stage and on the music, but of course not excitement there because this is a long song, really atmospheric. So it's not for every palette, this song. For me it's pretty enjoyable, but not my best meeting with Riverside. I preferred other songs, but you have nothing to blame inside. Excellent instrumental sessions. Uh, but the melody of the voice is a little man up and down, a little more flat compared with other songs. However, nice experience, little Italian now, then touch the window to follow me in all the other reactions already did to Riverside. And thank you my friends, Will Malinois, my big friend, and a happy birthday if your birthday is really close to come.
of, or if already came some days ago. Uh, ragazzi, allora, una giornata come sempre, un'esperienza con loro, atmosfera, go go, strumentazione al massimo, sia nel groove di batteria che nelle idee delle linee di basso, che soprattutto in questo chitarrista che ci avete visto c'è il segno dei pesci nel manico. Poi mi ha detto che è morto tragicamente, lui mi dispiace tantissimo, però voglio dire il lavoro di chitarra che fa è la cosa più bella in questa cosa. Non il cantato che è un pochino più piatto rispetto ad altre canzoni. E la canzone è veramente lunga, 14 minuti e passa, tant'è vero che io la riesco ad apprezzare perché mi avete un po' abituato al progressi però che a forza di farmela ascoltare. Se uno ci si affaccia per la prima volta e non è mai stato, è abituato a canzoni di 3-4 minuti, questa può risultare un po' noiosa, oggettivamente parlando. Come vedete anche il pubblico vive questa canzone per quello che è, cioè un'esperienza metafisica, non c'è eccitazione, non c'è salto in alto, ma c'è una grande attenzione al palco, però manca una componente di eccitamento secondo me in questo pezzo. Comunque toccate la finestra se volete vedere tutte le altre reazioni già fatte a Riverside e ci vediamo la prossima volta. Ciao!